In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Vue in a Laravel project. This is really simple. It will take like five minutes for you to install Vue in your Laravel project. So I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. First of all, let's go and create a Laravel project. So let me just go to my folder and let's go over here in my new volume D. Let's say we'll create a Laravel project here. So let's say here at the top CMD, then press enter. So here we're going to write a command composer create project it will be laravel slash laravel and we're going to give a project name it can be anything let's say here laravel dash q you can name it anything so right now i'll just press enter and it will start creating a laravel project for us so this will take a few minutes so right now i'll just fast forward the video so there you can see our project creation is complete and if we just go over here here you can see we have a laravel project called laravel dash view so let me just put the project directory from here so i'll say here cd laravel dash view press enter there you can see currently we are in the project directory so let's run the project we we'll say here php artisan serve then press enter let me just copy this let's go back to our browser paste it here press enter and this is our Laravel project and right now we are going to install Vue in our project. So before we install Vue, we need to install a package in our Laravel project and that package is Laravel UI. So let me just go to the project directory again. So here you can see currently we are in the project location and here we are going to open another command from here. Then we are going to run a command or write a command which is composer require laravel slash ui so before we install view we need to install this package so let me just press enter again it will take a few minutes so again i will just fast for the video and there you can see that command is done so right now we're going to install view so in order to install view we need to run this command which is php artisan ui then we need to send here view then press enter so right now it is saying that we need to run two more command which is npm install and npm run day. So we are going to say here npm install press enter and there you can see npm install is done. So after that we need to run this command npm run day. So we are going to say here npm run day press enter. And once you run that command npm run dev, it will give you a link like this local post 5173 it may be different port number so just copy it then go back to your browser paste it here press enter and if you are seeing this view it means this is a height view with laravel so right now we're going to show over here font and design that will come from the view component i mean the view.js component okay so right now let me just open our project using sublime text so let me just click on file then open folder and our project name was laravel view here you can see this one i'll just click on it then click on select folder so right now we'll just go to our vibe.config.js and here you can see we have hide plugin with the view and some CSS link over here so we don't need to make any modification over here since it already automatically add the view component so I just wanted to show you that so we can just close this and if we go to our composer.json you will see the laravel UI that we just installed in order to use QJS okay so right now we'll go to our resource then inside resource here you can see we have CSS JS folder if you now click on js there you will see a component folder if you click on component there you can see we have a few file here called example component dot view so this is the example view file that is by default installed when you install view.js so here it only says example component and i am example component and here the view you are seeing is coming from laravel so let's show this view in our welcome page so how can we do it so in order to do that we need to go to our resource then views inside views we have welcome.blade.php so here you can see some uh, style css so i am just going to remove this style from here and the style ended here 
after that inside the body we have some port so i am just going to remove that as well we are only going to show the view component code here so let me just go down directly and body indeed here so it will look like this we only have the head section and the body section let me just remove this from the body as well so at the beginning first of all inside the head section we are going to mention the js and css folder okay so here you can see in the css folder we have app.css and in the jss folder we have app.js so we need to mention that over here so for it we need to say at the end of height then to first bracket to third bracket then to single position first of all we need to mention the js folder so the js folder is inside the resources so we are going to say resources slash js slash app dot js then we'll give a comma here again to single position then we are going to say here again resources slash css slash app dot CSS, which is this one resources CSS app dot CSS. After that, here in the body, let's mention a div here. Press enter, and inside this div, I'm going to mention an ID, and ID will be app. Because if we just go to our resources JS, and inside JS, here you can see we have app dot JS. If we go inside the app dot JS, there you will see app mount we have a id here called app so this is the id that we are mentioning here after that here we are going to say example component opening and example component closing this one because here again in the app.js we have a component we are returning the component example component this one so this is what we are just mentioning here so since we just mentioning here the component example component this is connected with example component which is basically this one here you can see example component dot view so whatever we have in this page it will show us in the welcome dot blade dot page over here okay so right now if we just refresh our laravel project i mean the browser there you can see example component i am example component if we just change something here let's say here we are going to say i am an example component let's say get h on tag and let me just copy this paste it here i am an example component form hue save it then here you can see i am an example component form view it automatically loaded because we have uh npm run dev running here that's why so this is how you can install view in your laravel project and you can follow the view component i hope this was easy for you to follow if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials